Well, it is that time of the week where ABC 57 shows you the real Michiana and features someone in the community working to make the area better. We're featuring the unsung heroes lending a hand in big or small ways. Tonight, we're heading to South Bend's near West Side neighborhood to check out how one couple's vision for a prettier space planted a seed for change. ABC 57's Jess Arnold joins us live in the studio with their blossoming idea, <laughs> Jess. Hey, Brianna, now what can you do with some vacant lots, trees, and a ton of mulch? Well, this couple right here set out to prove that with the vision and the little help that they have around them, you can transform a neighborhood. <laughs> a delightful sound, punctuating a lot that's been quiet for some time. Just from the first cut, that invited the kids to come and play in the field. This field along South Bend's Jefferson Boulevard has quite literally blossomed in the last 10 years. These two lights have been making for a long time, a very long time. Because when we moved in, we, that was one of the first things we saw was just these two lots. And somebody was mowing them, but there was nothing happening with them. Carl and Megan Edmondson moved into their home in the near West Side neighborhood in 2001. Sort of as a passing idea, it was like, oh, that'd be nice if we could, like, plant a garden or something like that. An opportunity sprang up eight years later when the couple bought these first two vacant lots in a tax sale. Ultimately, it's about creating the environment that we, we want to live in. They acquired this lot in 2012, this small corner in 2013, and this dilapidated rental in 2015, which they promptly tore down. I think I the whole time thought, we just need to get rid of that and have this whole space because this could be a park. With each muddy boot, potted plant, and pile of bricks, they paved their way to a quaint little park. When we had the sidewalk done last year, that's when neighborhood people that we don't know realized this is a park. Yeah. Curving a sidewalk, all of a sudden, <laughs> People were like, this is a park. It looks purposeful, and that's, I guess, yes. how people figured out, you know, this right. is built to be like this. This is what happens when you have some people who want to do more than just talk about it. When you have a group of people who actually does that, a group of people with different opinions and different input, because this is the collaboration of a whole bunch of input, you end up having this beautiful park space. This is one of the reasons we bought this lot. This spruce tree is just spectacular. This is where I grew up from about five years old to about 24 years old. I defended it when I was growing up here, and I certainly defend it now. I thought it was really one of the most profound things that had happened in the neighborhood for years and years. Very impressed by them and by what they did. You know, if you've got an artist painting in your neighborhood, that's a positive thing, you know, because they're not afraid of being shot, for instance. I hope that this also helps sort of take away some of the stigma that's been attached to this neighborhood. It's not the bad part of town. Like, it's, it's really great. Sometimes feel powerless to contribute in, in the grand scheme of things. But if the kids, neighborhood kids can enjoy throwing around a ball in a nice space, I feel that's how we can contribute. It's pretty small, really. It's small in the grand scheme, but big in the lives of those around you, you know? Just uh, trying to leave it better than I found it. <laughs> <laughs> what sound is better than that, right? Now, the neighborhood group's next goal is to make this former alley into a pedestrian walkway that leads right to the Civil Rights Heritage Center, which you can see poking right over there. I'm live in studio. Jess Arnold, ABC 57 News. And to hear about the psychology behind the open green space and to take a walk down memory lane with Maurice, you can log on to abc57.com for those web exclusive videos. And if you know someone who should be featured, submit your ideas to jarnold at abc57.com.